Yo what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to boost FPS here in Fortnite chapter 3 season 2 guys I literally prepared a whole entire guide with every single step you should do on your Windows PC guys to make sure that you get max FPS here in Fortnite so therefore if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so, so much and without any further ado let's get straight into this topic So yeah guys, and what I want you to do now in the first place is click on the first link in the description where you can find my website and here on the top it says FPS boost, just simply click onto it, then you get redirected here to this next site guys and here on top should be a post with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now, again click onto it, then you get redirected again and then you're just simply gonna scroll down a little bit until you find this download button which is gonna redirect you to Google Drive from where you can find the following pack here which is called FPS boost settings and what we're going to do first of all is right click onto it and actually extract it all here onto our desktop and what we have in here now is super super important because we first of all have bitsim which is a program which we're going to utilize here guys just simply do all the steps to get it here it's literally like all here in this folder and then afterwards you should have on your pc a program which is called park control guys yeah it's literally gonna be in there and what we want to do is utilize the bitsim highest performance mode because so many people still don't utilize it and i don't know why it's literally like the best way to make sure that your cpu is actually running at max speed you can see guys all of my cores are working you know like for some people they have park cores which means that the CPU cores are actually like in standby mode. This just makes sure that all of your CPU cores are working at 100%. Just simply make sure to copy all my settings here, guys. 100% here across all four of these settings. You can see it's also here on the maximum, which is for me for my Ryzen 7 5800X, actually 3.8 gigahertz to run stable. And then here on the bottom, you're also gonna make sure that you're gonna enable here Bitsim Dynamic Boost and Show Power Plan uh, Change Notifications, also super important. And what we're afterwards going to do after you put it actually here onto the bits and highest performance mode as well is go onto power options guys yeah and this can just simply redirect you here to the uh, normal window setting where you can like um, optimize all your power options and in there now you can see here that as selected one we have bits and highest performance which provides bits and optimized cpu performance super super important guys don't go for anything other like i don't know a razor one or the ultimate performance mode here from Windows directly, Bitsim is the best one guys. So therefore, please make sure to utilize it. Then you're gonna click onto OK and you can already fully actually uninstall this program. You don't need it anymore because this power plan is gonna get still saved in your PC files, you know? So therefore we chill in here and now let's continue with the next step. And in the next step guys, what we're going to do is go into a Windows search bar and just simply type in appearance until we actually find here now, adjust the appearance and performance of Windows control panel setting. Just simply open it up guys. I'm quite sure a lot of people know it here. And the only one which I would actually recommend you to leave on here, you know, you can actually like go here straight up for adjust for best performance and then you just I'm gonna put the check here onto show thumbnails instead of icons super important if you're trying to maybe like record something or you have gaming clips you know that you can actually like see in the preview what it is about that's like the only important actual like here animation you need for the rest make sure everything is disabled like literally you can see how good my windows looks yeah there's like literally no downgrade visually and i only have this one open because as mentioned if i try to record something i can at least see that it's actually like a video file so therefore guys show thumbnails instead of icons is the only important one click on to apply press ok here and you just saved yourself a bit of system power which can be utilized for gaming so therefore super super important and now we're going to continue with the next step and for this next step guys we're now going to go into our nvidia control panel settings or our amd catalyst settings it literally doesn't matter guys you can also theoretically do this on intel or even in your windows if you just simply go here into a windows search bar and type in display settings because what i want to show you is if we're going to go here onto change resolution there's actually a trick you can kind of like still downscale your normal windows resolution to something like i don't know 1280 times 1024 or maybe even normal hd which would be like 1280 times 720p which makes your whole entire window screen way less detailed and lower res. But in game, you can still put your game actually on like native resolution or whatever res you want to utilize in Fortnite, even a stretch resolution. This is just like a quick tip, actually downscaling your normal desktop in the background makes a performance difference. That's actually how it works, guys. So therefore, you can kind of try this out for yourself to maybe put it on something which is a little bit less HD, maybe even something like 1600 times 1024 or I don't know, 1366 times 768. You know, some of these resolutions, they're just gonna make your windows look a little bit worse, but I mean, it still makes a game difference. So therefore, try it out, please, guys, and let me know down in the comment section below if it worked. If you need some additional help, guys, by the way, just feel free to join my Discord. The link is as well in the description, or just simply go on discord.gg slash stripes. You're gonna find my server. 
So therefore, yeah, we're done here with this step now as well. And now let's continue with the next one. And in this next step, guys, now we're going to go again here back into our file with the FPS boost settings. And in there, we now have Windows useless program disabled. Yeah, we're going to activate it. And in here, you can see, guys, they're all mostly like optimized for Windows 10, but they work exactly the same way as well for Windows 11. So therefore, what we're going to do is apply each and every single one of these here step by step. Lower latency, you can see the CMD just opened up and changed it already. Windows 10 Advanced Explorer settings, also going to enable it. Disable automatic app updates. I mean, that's kind of like logical. It explains itself that like applications on your Windows PC, which are built in, are not going to get automatically updated while gaming, especially that's like super annoying when your ping just goes up with like zero warnings. Disable forced reboot after update as well. Not necessarily, guys. Windows 10 disable lock screen. These are all just like small pretty much like processes running in the background or on a Windows PC, which we can fully disable, which just like free up a little bit of RAM, you know, even though these processes are not utilized right now, they're still taking up RAM because they're theoretically in standby mode working in the background. Then Windows 10 disable telemetry. As mentioned, guys, it works exactly the same way for Windows 11 because Windows 11 is more or less a reskinned Windows 10 version. That's just simply how it works. Like most of the Windows 10 tools work exactly the same way on Windows 11. Then next up, Windows 10 disable unnecessary services. Hide Cortana, also super important because yeah, we don't need it. Hide OneDrive, also don't need it. If you should for some reason actually try to then utilize Cortana again because you kind of utilize it, I don't know, I never use it myself. You also have the option, of course, guys, to re-enable it again. And then here, Windows 10 uninstall uninstall the applications, which is now gonna go through your whole entire PC and uninstall like games. Like there are some pre-installed games on Windows 10 and Windows 11, which are all now getting disabled in the background here, guys. And then we already done. You applied everything here correctly, and then you can close this, restart your PC, and enjoy having way more FPS. And yeah, guys, with that said, we're pretty much done here. And I just wanna repeat real quick, guys, that you should please go over and subscribe to my 2.0 channel, guys, where I'm going to cover everything specifically around law and gaming PC. I already got my hands on multiple law and PCs, which I'm going to optimize in the near future and also utilize for Fortnite, you know, find like the best search resolutions, fully optimize them for max FPS and all that stuff. Trying to maybe build like a low end gaming PC with a $100 budget and yeah, pretty much a whole bunch of cool stuff. Everything evolved around low end PCs and it doesn't happen to be only Fortnite. I'm also going to cover like other games. So therefore comment down below guys, what other games you want to see there as well. And with that said, we're pretty much done here. And yeah, guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night when you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.